find f dash x if f of x is equal to uh, the definite integration uh, from 0 to x squared plus 1 over uh, of 1 over d squared plus 2 dt. Okay, now this looks a bit complicated, but let's uh, find the indefinite integration of this and then we'll come to this. So let's integrate. So let's integrate 1 over t squared plus 2 dt. Okay, now this, when you have an expression like this, this is a candidate for trig substitution. I want to get one here. So I'm going to do a technique here. I'm going to do, I'm going to divide both of them by two. So this is one over t squared over two plus two over two dt. Now, if you look at this, I've divided both the denominators or both the terms in the denominator t squared plus two by two. So if you're de dividing the denominator by two, in fact, what you're doing is you're multiplying by two. So to nullify that, I'm going to multiply by one half because this will go up and so this is sitting here. So in short, this and this are one and the same. So this becomes half times integration of one over one plus t squared over two dt. Now this is a trick substitution. I'm going to substitute t squared, sorry, t squared over 2. So I'm going to substitute, let uh, t squared over 2 is equal to 10 squared theta, is equal to 10 squared theta, because I know 1 plus 10 squared is 6 squared. So that's why I had, I wanted to 1 here. This implies t squared is equal to 2 10 squared theta. 2 10 squared theta, which implies t is equal to square root of 2 times 10 theta. So we'll need 10 theta later on, so I'm going to write here. This implies theta is equal to 10 inverse of 10 inverse of t over root 2 t over root 2. So this you will need later on, so let us box this away. Okay, so t is equal to root 2 tan theta. So in place, so let us differentiate now this with respect to theta. So this implies dt by d theta, dt by d theta is equal to root 2 times 6 squared theta. So the differentiation of 10 is 6 squared. So dt by d theta is root 2, 6 squared theta, which implies dt is equal to root 2 times 6 squared theta d theta. So what I've done is I've changed the whole thing in terms of theta. So this has become a trig form. So this becomes, so from here, so next I can write this implies one half of integration of one over one plus t squared over two dt will become one half integration of one over one plus t, t squared over two is 10 squared theta. So this is one plus 10 squared theta times dt, dt is root 2 times 6 squared theta, d theta. Now you should be knowing 1 plus 10 squared is 6 squared, so this becomes, uh, I'll take the root out, so this is root 2 over 2 times integration of 1 over 6 squared theta times 6 squared theta d theta. Okay, so this is what will happen now. So this is 1 over root 2, 1 over root 2 times integration of d theta, which is 1 over root 2 times theta. I'm not writing c here. Okay, so let me write c here. Integration, because this is an indefinite integration. 
So this is equal to 1 over root 2 times theta is 10 inverse of what is theta. So let's go back. Theta is 10 inverse of t over root 2. t over root 2 plus c. Okay, so that is the integration. Okay, so, so let me rewrite this. So let me copy. Uh, I'm going to copy this much. I'm going to copy. No, I can't copy. Okay, let me try. Okay. Uh, I do. Okay, that's all right. So let me write this again. So this is integration of 1 over 2 times 1 over 1 plus t squared over 2 dt is this. Okay, so now let us come back to the definite integration. So this implies, actually this has come, okay, sorry. So this has come actually from which form? So let me write this. So instead of this, this has come from here. Okay, so this is, we started here, so we can say this is nothing but integration of 1 over t squared plus 2 dt. So now using the definite integration, I can say this implies integration, or definite integration of 0 to x squared plus 1 of 1 over t squared plus 1, t squared plus 2, yeah, t squared plus 2 dt is equal to integration of, okay, so you can, you already know the integration, so you can directly substitute, so this is, integ uh, is 1 over root 2 times 10 squared 10 inverse of t over root 2 plus c. This is not plus 1, this is plus c. This is plus c, plus c from 0 to x squared plus 1. So now I can put the upper limit and the lower limit. So 10 inverse of 0 is 0. So this becomes, so this is equal to 1 over root 2 times 10 inverse, so this is the f of x, so you can say f of x is 1 over root 2, 10 inverse of x squared plus 1 over root 2, and the constant will get cancelled because of definite integration. If you take away, uh, if you put the upper limit and then you put the lower limit, the c will be cancelled. So this is f of x. Okay, now the question is you want to find f dash x. That means you want to find dy by dx. So let me see if this is equal to y. So you can say y, so you can say dy by, so let me write this again. So I can say y is equal to 1 over root 2 times 10 inverse of x squared plus 1 over root 2. So cross multiplying or multiplying both sides by root 2, so this is root 2y is equal to 10 inverse of x squared plus 1 over root 2, which implies, uh, I can say x squared plus 1 over root 2 is equal to 10 of 2y, 10 of root 2y. Okay, so this is, from this, you, you can draw a right angle triangle, which will be useful later on. So let me draw a right angle triangle because we're going to use Soka Tua. So this is angle of root 2y. And tan of root 2y is x squared plus 1 over 2. The root 2, so the opposite is x squared plus 1. And the adjacent is root 2. So this should be square root of x squared plus 1, the whole squared, plus root 2, the whole squared, which is 2. Okay, so now I can write this. So let me change color. We're almost there. So can I say uh, x squared over root 2 plus 1 over root 2 is equal to 
10 of root 2 y. So I'm going to differentiate both sides with respect to x. So d by dx of x squared over root 2 plus d by dx of 1 over root 2 is equal to d by dx of 10 root 2 y. So this is this implies this is 2x over root 2. The differentiation of 1 over root 2 is at 0 is equal to the derivative of 10x is 6 squared x. So this is 6 squared 6 squared root 2y times root 2 times root 2 because using the chain rule times dy by dx. This is implicit differentiation. I hope you understand this. So, so this becomes, so we can say, uh, you can bring this down or multiplying both sides by root 2. I can say, uh, uh, if you cross multiply, so this implies, I can say 2x times root 2 times root 2 times 6 squared of root 2 y is equal to dy is equal to dy by no times sorry I'm getting confused here times I'm just cross multiplying root 2 by multiplying root 2 to both sides okay so this becomes so this implies you can say 2x is equal to 2 times 6 squared root 2 y times dy by dx okay so so this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled so dy by dx so this implies x over 6 squared root 2 y is equal to dy by dx which is nothing but f dash x so you can say f dash x is equal to x times cos of root 2 y the whole squared. Okay, so what is cos y? So let's look at the triangle. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, so cos y would be root 2 divided by this whole thing, but we want cos squared so the square root will get cancelled. Okay, so you can say f dash x, f dash x is equal to x times adjacent is, so you can say root 2 the whole squared over, okay, let me directly write, so this is, so this root 2 squared will become 2, so this is 2x over square root, uh, the square root will be cancelled, you will have x plus 1, the whole squared, plus 2. Okay, so cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, and because it is cos squared, so this will become 2 over x plus 1, the whole squared over 2. So this is the gradient function. If the function is inti definite integration of uh, 1 over t squared plus 2 dt from 0 to x squared plus 1.